people. My mm, sister, we are going to the funeral. You know? Yep, we are going. So, stay tuned. Feel like a vlog. Yeah, people. Guys, as you can see, the people are gathering in the auditorium for the funeral to start. So, we are going to give you a little bit of people at the auditorium. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to ask you to clear all the way, please. Clear all the way. Alright, the family members are asking persons please to sit, please. They're asking persons, sorry, persons please to sit, alright. They're asking you not to block all the way, please. Everyone.
就突然哭了。
mais de couro.
Hold kick, den habe ich gerne nicht.
instrumental in the area of writing and signing documents for both fathers in regards to their forward movement. Today, I know that with much anger and pain and anguish that are still felt and expressed by relatives, friends,
Bishop Shannon Wayne and Aunt Rude. What is the psalmist speaking about? He's speaking of terrorists.
to the point where neighbor killed neighbor. Family member killed family member. Today, Rwanda is a peaceful country. In fact, very peaceful. And if you were to compare the murder rate in Jamaica to the murder rate in Rwanda, you know, there's really no comparison. Our murder rate would be several times the percentage of the murder rate in Rwanda. And so the question is, how did a country where violence was to the level of organization where it was carried out in a structured way against the segment of the population, how did that country resolve? How did that country come to grips? And how did it effectively treat with violence? I'm going to give you some answers shortly. But one of the things I would say right up front is that they recognized that they had a problem. They recognized that violence was a disease. And it is a disease pretty much like any other disease. It can infect people. And it is passed on from generation to generation because the use of violence in the genocide was something that was brewing for close to 100 years. In Jamaica's history, as we are gathered here today to celebrate an important day in our history, note, today we are celebrating Emancipation Day. The end of peacefully. I want you to follow what I'm saying. Violence was used on us in slavery. It infected us to the point where after slavery, we did not engage in any process of coming to grips with this violence. And so it passed on from generations to generations to generations. Until now, it is so ingrained in how we think that if a man step on your toe, you kill, you're like kill you. your first reaction is going to be violence. I'm a killer boy. Me. We use violence in how we bring up our children. I listen to Dr. Brennan very carefully. And I am in not necessarily a chapel I've been on all, but for the purposes it is a chapel now. And his admonition is the biblical admonition. We must spare the rod or else we're going to spoil the child.
guys as you can see the funeral is almost done they're going to the graveside but we're not going to the graveside they do not allow anyone to see the body except for the family members they are very very private so guys the body come up and all these things they can't sit on the casting so we'll show them we can show them peace out